So we're going to continue with our work on electrical fields and I'm going to try to cover off um, just how we look at uniform electrical fields and what I mean by uniform electrical fields it's when, generally when we have two um, terminals or two plates that are creating an, a uniform electrical field between them and normally the plates are positive and negatively charged and we the uniform electrical field is normally talked about in terms of the potential difference between the two plates potential difference is shown here um, as you know this is two kilovolts and we we describe the potential difference um, in terms of volt but potential difference is exactly that it's the amount of work that a battery or a uh, has to exert to get one unit of charge from one point to another. So that, that that's the definition of a volt. Um, and I'm going to try to cover off what happens with a particle when it enters a uniform uh, electrical field. And I'm going to use a problem to do so. So the problem reads this. An electron is placed in between two charge plates as shown below. Here we have it shown below here and you are to find the electrical strength between the two plates and the speed of the electron as it exits the plates. So there's one equation that is really pivotal, pivot, pivotal when we're discussing um, uniform electrical fields, and that is that the electrical field strength is given by the potential distance or potential difference over the distance that the plates are set apart. So if I was answering this question where I'm looking for the electrical strength or the strength of the electrical field, what I would be saying is my uh, the strength of my electrical field is given by my voltage, 2.0 times 10 to the 3 volts or 2 kilovolts over the distance set apart, 15 centimetres. So I'm going to write that as 0.15. And then my, the strength of my electrical field is given as 13,333 uh, volts per meter. And that's the units that we use for uh, field strength. Then I'm going to ask the second question. Find the speed of the electron as it exits the plate. Now there's an important equation here, and this is all dependent on the work that a uh, particle does. If I think about the work that a particle would be exposed to, or the work that it would do in, um, in a uniform electrical field, is generally given by Q, the charge that the particle carries, over the field or times sorry, not by that, all right, times by the electrical field strength and the distance. Now, this ED is a revision of this equation where our potential difference equals the field strength times the distance put apart. So we can say that this is Q times the potential difference or the voltage. So when I'm answering this, or actually going further on, if I think about work, work is also transferred into kinetic energy. And we know that kinetic energy is given by half mv squared. And therefore we have a general formula of qv equals half mv squared. Now here you just have to be careful because we are using two uh, pronumerals, same pronumerals, V, but one's capital and one's lowercase. So the capital is talking about the voltage or the potential difference. The V is the velocity. So when we come to solving this problem, and remember the problem is to find the speed of the electron, electron as it's exiting the plate, so it's gone through the um, uniform electrical field. What we're going to do is we're going to write it as half mv squared equals qv. We're going to substitute our value in. Half the mass of an electron, we have it here, 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. 
Okay, the, the charge of an electron, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And the voltage, we have 2.0 times 10 to the 3 volts. And, sorry, I forgot the most important part, V squared. Now we're going to find it in terms of V squared and we might write it as And then if we find that value, we're going to square both sides and we can get that in terms of V. So V here is given as 2.65 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. And the question is, is this a valid answer? Well, think about this. This is less than the speed of light. It's still very fast. It's a, you know, it's a significant portion of the speed of light. Um, but electrons are very small, they're very light, they move generally at these speeds. So I think this is a fair assessment or a valid answer of the question. I hope this has helped.